Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to find a Google Earth file that had more than 550 ancient Greece place markers in it. So here's what I did. Uh, someone asked me on Twitter if I had any files on this, and I didn't. So I just went to Google, as you might expect, did my search for ancient Greece. Very, very broad term. So let's go into settings. I went in to advanced search and I started by searching for the file type of KMZ. I did that search and nothing came back. Now the other file type that works in Google Earth is KML. So change it to KML and now I had 1500 results. Well, then I went in here and opened up this file and I launched it in Google Earth. Now, unfortunately, when I launched it in Google Earth, all that happened is I got the frame of the Google Earth library in here with a bunch of advertisements. And you might be inclined to just give up here, but I started to look through it and I saw down here in these broken comments a link to a, someone's comment that said the list is at 420 places but I found almost 480. So then I copied that link and I went back to my browser and I found it. Here I'm on the Google product forums message board for Google Earth and we can see that everyone's been updating this and I found the file, downloaded that attachment, and then opened it in Google Earth on my desktop. And as I zoom in, you'll see all the place marks start to appear. Now, I'm using the desktop version of Google Earth, but the process works the same way if you use the browser version of Google Earth. So let's go to the browser version of Google Earth at earth.google.com, and we'll launch it. And when it loads, will then import that same KML file. And the way to import a KML file is to go to My Places, select Import KML File. If you store it in Google Drive, you can pull it from there, or pull from your desktop, as I have here. And there's my file. And you'll see it's now loading all of those places. So that's how I was able to find a Google Earth file with more than 550 ancient Greek place markers in it. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.